I think it's a time for reflection. We both need to be long-term. I think a relationship is defined by many elements. It's the people-to-people -people ties. There's, there's students that go back and forth between the two countries. There's trade that occurs. If you heard the speeches tonight, the, the trade has actually been going on in spite of the challenges uh, that are there. Canadian consulting firm WPIC says the enthusiasm for the Chinese market has not waned and that a new chapter in bilateral ties bodes well for both countries. Our organization, WPIC, we certainly have felt confident making more investments uh, in different cities in China this year as well that are, that are some of the most significant investments that we've ever made. Um, and that's been really good. I mean, and obviously we're being rewarded for that. Um, you know, again, this is just an incredibly important relationship for Canada. And uh, the, the stronger that that can build from the people to people relationship into a government to government into a business to business relationship, the better. The ambassador also say that China and Canada share the same concerns over environmental issues and facing pressure of aging population. He says next, the two countries can deepen their cooperation in health and environmental sector. Lu Sui, CGTN, Beijing.